Good morning. How we doing guys? Right now I'm currently in Newark. Been here full two weeks, maybe going on three. Miss my family, man. Obviously I miss my family every single moment. And I'm not just saying it because I want you guys to feel like, oh my god, like all the sacrifice and this. Like I really just I really miss my family. Like that's the number one thing, man. The city is amazing, but without the family, New York City ain't nothing. I'm headed back to Texas today, and I'm excited about that. Join me for the trip. We're gonna have an adventure in the airport. All right, by the way, check out this merch. We got all the new Woke uh, shirts. These are uh, nicely fitted. You can see the way they fit me. We got the ones with the GA logo on it. And then on the side it says, I can, I will. Look at the sleeves, it says, I can. So look, look, these are long sleeves. I can, I will. These just got in. We got the Create shorts. Really dope shorts. Um, if you want to go buy one of these shirts, go to leaderscreateleaders.com. You'll be fine there. All right, got my bags ready to go. I don't know about you guys, but I got myself a fanny pack. Perfect for travel. Well worth it, especially when you travel. You put your passport there, you put your credit card, charger, your headphones. All right, my Uber driver's on the way. About two minutes out. All right, let's get out of here. The calm before the storm. Let's go. I'm actually putting you guys away uh, until we get to the airport and I check in my bags because I can't be carrying all this. Hey guys, so check it out. Just got to the airport. Just thought of a cool idea. I've been having this trouble of like how to provide value for you guys. I get a lot of questions online and sometimes I don't know how to communicate those lessons to you guys. And the main reason I can is because I'm, I'm always creating other content for either for leaders, create leaders, or I'm creating other content for, for my business, right? But I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. As I'm traveling to different places and uh, I'm always on the go, I'll pick up my camera, this camera right here, and I'll answer your questions. So yesterday on my Instagram I posted, ask me any photography, video, or social media question, and I got tons of responses, I got tons of questions. So what I'll be doing is I'll be answering your questions. Let's go, let's start this off. All right, question number one. How to optimize my name for personal brand to be better recognized in social media? This is by Bobby.Borisov. Bobby.Borisov. You see, I had a little bit of trouble reading it right there. All right, so the main thing is how to optimize it. Guys, it's actually real simple. The shorter, the simpler. The more legible your, name, your username is, the easier it is for somebody to uh, remember that. So you gotta be make sure you keep it simple. If you look at my name, Digital Jeff, it's not my real name, right? I go by, you know, my real name is Jeffrey, but there's a million Jeffreys out there. There's only one Digital Jeff, well, not two with my son. My son's underscore Digital Jeff, by the way. But yeah, simplify your name. I'll give you guys a great example here. Um, Gary Vaynerchuk. First time I saw Gary Vaynerchuk's name, I couldn't pronounce his last name. Like Bay, like I couldn't, I just couldn't. You know, it's too many words. So Gary is easier. So he stuck with Gary and simplified his last name to instead of Vaynerchuk, it's V V E E. And that became his username across all platforms. So add Gary V. You know, use that formula. I challenge you to write down your name, simplify your name. If you have to use an underscore or period, use a, use a period. Don't use an underscore. An underscore, I think it's like it's just harder to, to, to read it, to type it in, and stuff like that. I don't know, it's something about it. Second tip, tip I'll give you think about culture. Think about culture, what's going on with the culture at the moment, and try to foresee where the culture is going. And try to use a name that can be catchy because of the culture, you know? One of the things I've learned about creating names for business is that it doesn't have to be a real name. So don't be stuck with your real name. There's a lot of people that have like successful businesses. I'll give you guys one. It's called um, David D'Angelo. And I read this as a case study. David D'Angelo used to have a business called Double Your Dating. So David D'Angelo, Double Your Dating. See how that there's a D's, there's a lot of, a lot of wordplay. That's my suggestion to you. I challenge you to write down your name, simplify it, think about culture, add those names in there. Anyways, my flight's boarding, I gotta run. I'll answer the second question on the flight. Let's go. I'm gonna check in the luggage, okay? Uh, it, has equip it has equipment. No, that's too big, not gonna fit. This is a small plane. Small plane? Not gonna fit better. Yeah, see. I have all my equipment in there, so it's hard for me to check it in. Alright guys, 
check it out. Landed in Vegas. Um, I'm not here for too long. I'm only here for about 20 more minutes. Uh, my flight is actually already boarding. So I'm gonna answer a few questions here and keep this show going. This one's from nicholas.krgs. So the question is, how did you start your career? How did I start my career? I started actually by opening up a, a website called Loretta Sports Rush, and I would cover local sports. I was a web developer, I was the photographer, the journalist, and the videographer. I was like 18, 19 years old when that happened, and that's what really got me going back in 2003. It got me learning about photography, about video. Even before that, I had already been making um, home movies with VHS cameras for about uh, 10 years prior. So, you know, I've been doing this since I was a little kid and it's just kind of let me, kept going. I opened my first photo studio when I was 20 years old. And then that led me to having my first agency, you know, a few years later. And then slowly, slowly became more and more into filmmaking. Uh, did a lot of commercial photography as well. The one recommendation I have for you is get one mentor that is doing exactly what you want to do and work for free. Work for free for them. Work for, I would say, work for a year, two years for free and learn as much as you can from them and that'll set you up for the remainder of your career. By the way, I'm looking for interns. If anybody's interested in interning and being one of my apprentices, um, send me an email, digitaljeff00 at gmail.com. This, this question is by Natalie is official, and the question is, what's your favorite and least favorite thing about social media? I think the greatest thing about social media is that, you one, you're able to learn from other people. You're uh, we're more aware of what's going on around the world. We have a more of a understanding of the problems that other people are going through. Another thing is that you're able to network and make friends with people all over the world. And that's like literally, tr to this day, the, the number one way that I've been, been able to work with so many such you know, amazing people and network, you know? So it goes down in the DMs, it's true. That's the best thing. Worst thing is that it's very addictive, you know? Uh, right now I'm making this video for social media. And if you're watching it, you've probably been on your phone for probably about at least a couple of minutes. I recommend you guys, if you're, if you're going through this addiction, I've gone through it too. I go through it, you know, during periods, different periods, times of the year where it's like very, very bad. Sometimes it's okay. But the main thing I tell you guys right now is uh, to start off your morning, the first 30 minutes, no phone. Try your best to be, to spend the first 30 minutes of your day, plan your day, and just, you know, enjoying the present moment, uh, waking up in tune with your energy. And then the last 30 minutes before you go to sleep, I recommend you guys turn off your phone. I, I try to do that. <clears throat> Not really. I'll do one more question. I think I got enough time for one more. My engagement has dropped about 50%. Any tips? This is by Ryan Fields. I'm assuming you're talking about Instagram. My engagement has dropped about 50%. So guys, this is the cool thing about social media as well. The thing about social media is it's always changing, right? So you gotta change up, change up what you're doing. My question to you is your content improving? Is it staying the same? Always strive to improve the type of content you're delivering. Figure out what your audience uh, who your audience is, who you're talking to, and then try to deliver that type of content. The reason I'm doing these um, social media photography videos right now is because of that, because I noticed that people always de send me a DM about what apps are you using, what photo what camera are you using, you know, how do you get engagement. All these questions I get all the time on my DMs, and I'm sharing them now with a vast audience, because that's, I know that's what you guys like. Also, very, very important is don't go too many days without posting any content. Like, don't go M MIA on everybody. Uh, if you are going to go M MIA, make sure you tell your audience. Write really good captions. Captions are so important. So when your people are scrolling right on Instagram, people are scrolling, 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 and then they finally stop and stop in your, let's say they stop in your, in your post for about two, three seconds, and they start reading your caption, the caption's really good. They'll probably stay on your post for a minute or two, uh, depending on how good your caption is. They might, they might interact, they might comment, they might respond to you, they might start reading some of the comments. So yeah, make sure your, your captions is as important as what the content is. Like Bonnie and Clyde, they go, they go together. All right guys, so I think I gotta run. I'll answer more questions when I get back to the casa. Anyways guys, just got back into Laredo, Texas and you might be wondering like, what the hell, where am I at, right? So this is actually an office space um, that I have here in Laredo. It's located at mile one, shout out to mile one. It's a kind of like an incubator, it's very similar to Founders, but it's in my hometown, Laredo, Texas. So I'm gonna be shooting a lot of, the, a lot of these uh, Q and A videos out of this space. So get used to the surroundings where I'm at. It still needs a few little things here and there. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to the questions. I'm gonna answer one more question and we're gonna end episode one here. All right, okay, so last question here is by AOTB.cast. And the question is, what's the best way to grow on social media when you have a new show? 
very, very, very good question. Shout out to uh, Josh from Aliens on the Border. Guys, listen, when you launch a new show, number just there's a few things you got to worry about, but the main one is actually having really, really engaging content, really, really good. Focus on your story, focus on producing the show. Don't worry too much at the very, very beginning about distribution, although I'm going to get into that right now. Worry about making sure that your show is something of value that provides value for the listener, the watcher, and uh, you're creating an impact there, right? So instantly, that's the main thing you want to worry about. And the second thing, the second thing is consistency. If you're going to say you're going to put it out on Mondays, make sure you put it out on Mondays. If you're going to say you're going to put it out twice a week, make sure you put it out twice a week. If you're going to say you're doing it daily, make sure you stick to daily. So don't shoot yourself in the foot. Get get your feet wet. Understand what you're doing. Uh, produce a few of these shows. I, I like to call them pilots. Once you get your pilot done, once you figure out like the, the system from start to finish, what it actually takes to produce one of these shows, then actually make a commitment. Say, I'm going to do it once a week. I'm going to do it like, you know, every other day. I'm going to do it three times a week. So first of all, focus on making the show as best as possible, providing a good value. Second thing is consistency. And the last thing is obviously distribution. You want to distribute this in multiple platforms. Try to do it to where you have a main pillar piece of content, like on sitting on YouTube or Facebook Watch, or if it's a shorter shorter piece, shorter show maybe, um, you want to put it on maybe Instagram or even small clips on your Facebook page. But the main thing for you guys is to distribute this piece of, uh, distribute your show to as many platforms as possible. Don't just grab the same file that you upload to like, let's say your podcast. Uh, don't upload that same file to your YouTube. You know, you got to, you got to customize it to your YouTube audience. You got to customize it to your Facebook audience. And we could probably do a whole episode on that because that thing that's very important for you guys to learn. I'm still trying to manage and learn all this. So if you look at my show, Leaders Create Leaders, you're going to be able to see that we've gone from just YouTube to then we went season two and season three, ended up being on Facebook Watch. It got syndicated by Entrepreneur Magazine. So they're posting our, our show on their, on their websites as well. And then from that, we are getting now shorter clips that are going to be on IGTV. If you look at Gerard Adams TV right now, you're going to be able to see small segments of each episode that will give you insight. We call them woke moments, right? It's the same show. It's the same, it's the same content that we already produce, but it's now being distributed in different ways. So anyways, I hope that answers some of the questions. We're going to be doing more of these, guys. So submit your questions down below. Um, if you're not following me on, on Instagram, Follow me on Instagram right now, at Digital Jeff. And I want to hear more from you guys. I want to know what you guys are struggling with. I want to be able to help you guys out. And I myself, I'm going to be learning throughout this process. So thanks so much for the support. I still don't know what to call this show. Um, any suggestions for this show, what it should be called? I'm going to be answering anything on social media, social media growth. I'm going to be talking about uh, photography and obviously video, art. And uh, I had one more, one more topic. I guess health. Yeah, let's talk about health as, as well. So anyways, um, Digital Jeff here signing out. Remember, never stop. Keep creating and always believe in yourself. Peace out. <laughs>